Um, we just want to show you some of our chicken routine out here today and show you what we're going to be doing. I'm going to be cleaning the nest box out, going to be putting some new shavings down. Um, Chris is going to be replacing the water barrels where they knock the little tips off and uh, just basically feeding them and cleaning up after them. But please like and subscribe if you haven't already and we're going to get started. Thank you. one section at a time. <laughs> when I get a full basket, I shift through it and try to keep the good stuff and get rid of the compost. stuff from under there that they don't go under. Now I'm just gonna take this out and dump it and shift it all. Mm -hmm. chicken lot because they're going to get on it and they're going to crap on it. Chris filling up another water barrel. He put the he changed the <laughs> he's got a little hole in the wire where I can run holes in there and I ain't going to turn it over. Yeah. And then we're I'm trying to clean off of the tops of all these. He did one of them. And, and then I'm also trying to clean off the top of this. And we're going to get them some more ashes for their dust bag. I'm just cleaning up the chicken hoops today. There's the old water trough. We get that little bottle of our belt for the generator. We can put that little generator in it to build it big enough to set that one in too. Oh yeah. Yeah. These are the cow bottles. I guess just set them back under here for now too. Bottle feeders. Um, <laughs> extra wire. This gets really messy in here. So we're just trying to, or I'm just trying to straighten it up a little bit. Get it not so messy in here. And here, well, we can walk through here a little better. And there's a. Can you read it? Yeah. Now I need to build you something to stand on, no. I got a ladder in the house. I already did get some of the eggs today, but I've got two in here nesting, <coughs> and two in there nesting. So, with that being said, I know we'll have more, but that's what we have so far. They're starting to lay in here now a lot more. 
So we're going to take this one out here. We're going to get the other one built out here. And we're going to put it out here. They nest on the other side of this. And when they go in the box like that, the eggs roll down. This, I put this latch on to hold the lid up. So when she gets up there, she can just raise the lid and hold it the whole time. But there's a like a three and a half inch slope from there to here. It slopes down. When they lay their egg up there, it'll roll down here. But this carpet we put in here is just a little too thick. It's a real thick stuff. I need to take that out and put small stuff in there. This thinner stuff, because sometimes they don't roll. But then I put a black curtain. I don't know if you can see it or not. It says black curtain in here, right here. Put a black curtain in there to keep them from seeing the eggs after they roll in. I've been getting <coughs> five or six out of them each yeah. day. Well, they, they just lay, they lay all in that little hen house there and then they lay in this sometimes, they lay over there. Uh, I mean, I don't know. We got fake eggs in here too on the other side. Get them in here, but they're going in here more. They're going in here more. But anyway, this was designed where we didn't have to go in there all the time. Yeah, and you've already got. Mm -hmm. That's this morning, right? One, two, yeah. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. That's thirteen already this morning. And then we and got five in the nesting boxes. It's uh, eleven o'clock, and they'll all take off here in a few minutes. video on the my mini if there's anyone new on here that hasn't seen it you can go back and check it out but here's what we're doing with the seven of our eggs from today we're gonna make some deviled eggs and eat them with our dinner or lunch today okay guys I have laid out some steaks out of the freezer I'm gonna go ahead and marinate them up and then I'm gonna do my deviled eggs And these we cook in the air fryer. I'm putting this is roasted garlic and this is Chicago steak. And these are froze so I am going to flip them over. This is Allegro. Pour the rest of that in there. So I'm going to add a little more of this. And I'll set that aside and put that in the refrigerator to get ready in a few minutes and then our eggs I took them out of the um, egg cooker oh I put them in um when I take them out of the cooker I put them in cold water to um, cool them off a little bit.
And there's the rest of our onion. Okay. Then we like the dill relish. You can use sweet relish, dill relish, whatever you prefer, but we like the dill. One more thing I forgot. Salt and pepper. <laughs> then we take it and we scoop it in our little eggs. And there you go. They are done. Um, you can take paprika and sprinkle on them, which we usually do, but I don't think we have any more paprika. So we're just gonna eat them like this. But there's our deviled eggs, and then we're gonna make our steak and potatoes, and there will be our dinner. Okay guys, I am cutting up some onion strips. To put in with my steak that I am putting in the air fryer. I just actually turned the air fryer on. It takes, this thing says 10 to 20 minutes for it to cook in here. And here's what our steak looks like. Just put it in there. It's just seasoned. I'm gonna throw it in here. Air fryer. We're going to give it 10 minutes and our dinner will be done. We're doing steak, mashed potatoes, which is from our prep, deviled eggs. And as you can see, our solar only got it down to 92 today and that's with it raining with cooking with running lights tv everything we had a bag of deer plot seed the bottom of it got wet and all the seeds are pouring out of it so she's well, just scattering I, them out i tried to carry it out here and that's as far as i made it without the bottom coming out so, so. We're, just, we're just scattering them out they probably won't grow but that's better than just sitting there in the pile i made the chickens some little treats they're little vegetables so Keep corn in one and lay a mash in another one at all times. So, well, corn anyway, lay a mash, we'll put them on for a while. <laughs> These things will hold like six bags. Give them some to get them some extra vegetables. Yeah, 
Yeah, I think it's six bags of honey. Yeah. That's two and it's up there. Yeah. Four, five, six. You want to show them? Yeah. We got, uh, that's still completely full. We filled that up Friday. Or was it just a Friday? Friday. Mm -hmm. Yeah, because, no. Oh, well, it was yesterday, maybe. Yesterday. I don't remember. Either way. I don't know. One day. Anyway, we switched over to these new little nipples right here. It's the same little ones that's in that thing we bought from Tractor Supply. It's the same nipples. These are. They got to peck them to get water. No, we did that yesterday. Uh, I'm gonna swap all of them over to those instead of the cups because those seem to work really good. Uh, hey, I'm putting some new shavings down in here. I tried to clean out the box up there, the hen house, and I uh, put new in there, and now we're cleaning out in here. We cleaned out a lot of it. And so now we're wanting to get the shavings clean again. I'm gonna try to do something like this over the water barrels. This ain't long enough, so I have to get a bigger piece. I want to come over the water barrel and I'm gonna put a hinge on it so I can lift it and keep them from crapping on top of the barrels. So I got one piece, I'm gonna do that one over there on another side. That looks better, huh? Mm. Thank you. See you next time.